हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू उड़िया एस एस उड़िया ट्यूटोरियल एज यू नो दैट दैट कमिटेड आर लियर टुडे वी एस कमेंसिंग आवर फास्ट सेशंस ऑन बी डी एंट्रांस टेस्ट एंड विल स्टार्ट विथ द द इंग्लिश ऑफ सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट और वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेशन वन ऑन कंप्रीहेंशंस जस्ट लेट I'll introduce the SS Odia tutorials to a free Odia tutorial channel in Odisha to look after the various essentials of the students in various subjects. So, as a part of this our initiative, as committed earlier, we are premiering our first session on comprehensions. As you know that in our life we have come across through various stories poems questions and answers were on since to you before you read them in our life we come across through various stories poems questions and these are unknown on since earlier when something is known to us the answer is somehow or somewhere is in our mind to understand how we'll solve those problems but the passages that are given in your bed exams will be unfamiliar to you so similarly in a comprehension test you will be given a passage or paragraph two and three paragraphs and these paragraphs are on scene before so these for what actually this for this paragraphs contain so these paragraphs shows the ideas maybe some emerging and concerning issues and they are solutions that a author that a author want to share with you and the main task of the examining or the you people is to answer those questions by going through those passages so there are some misconceptions regarding the comprehension test most of us we know that there will be passages and the questions will be there and there is no tips and tricks there is nothing to be worried but there are some misunderstanding or misconception among the students what are those misunderstanding and misconceptions it is possible to understand the key idea of the paragraph by just reading first and the last sentence but it is not actually correct most of us we assume that we will go through the first paragraph and we will go through the last paragraphs we can easily answer those questions without going through the detailed passage and without understanding those passages this is a misunderstanding among the students they simply go through the first paragraph and go through the last paragraph and they go to the question and trying to solve those questions second misconception and is that the regarding the question first will help to understand the paragraph better what is what is our assumption that just going through the questions and going to the paragraph so that it will easier for the students to remember all those questions and answer the question correctly but it is not always correct it is not true why the reason being is that it is not possible for a person to remember all those questions you cannot remember all the four or five questions that has been given in the your examinations or your test or entrance test so sometimes we identify the wrong questions as a result of which we get the bad marks or we get poor performance in the examinations so also the questions are sometimes indirect in nature many times now the examiner or we can say that the questions that are very smart so they put the indirect questions and as a result of which and they are knowingly put those words which easily directed the students to answer those wrong questions with if someone is not understanding the question properly it is very difficult for them to understand that so the order of the question is not always in accordance with the progression of the passage and the questions 1 2 3 4 5 whatever is been given it is not always that as the paragraph flows as the paragraph go, goes normally the questions pattern will also goes that is the wrong that is not always happening so that is the misconception among the students 
so what skills required for that how do you solve if this are these are the misunderstanding how do you solve those questions that the thing is that the logical abilities thing is that how your logical abilities is developed how you are analyzing logically you are interpreting the paragraph then the ability to infer how do you draw the conclusion sometimes there will be questions that what the paragraph is tell about so you have to extract those things you require the ability inter you have to draw inferences logical means there should be some logic it may be you have to prove there are some systematic way to solve the problem systematic ways to answer the questions logically either in inductive way or maybe deductive way you have to take that analytical ability you have to analyze you have to analyze the paragraphs into broad paragraphs into small small part then reasoning abilities maybe verbal maybe you are talking about most of the written text that means reasoning abilities has to be there this type of skills is required to solve the paragraph then ability to understand the main motive of the idea of the author what is the actual ideas of the authors that needs to be understand that needs to be required skills to how do you ideally draw those conclusions then reading speed you you may have more less than 5 minutes or the 10 minutes to respond to those questions so normally you will take the 5 to 10 minutes to respond to those questions so how accurately not only speed reading but also how accurately comprehensively you are reading those things so reading comprehension is one of the important skills is required then vocabulary power vocabulary power means how these words are used these words are used whether maybe in the forms of alternative words maybe some synonyms or maybe some uh, st structure of a particular uh, sentences that needs to be vocabulary power is required and remember some important information from the paragraphs and so these are broadly you can say that the broad skills are required so you have to re you have to read the paragraph in a proper pace and a proper appropriate time you should have the vocabulary power analytical abilities your logical abilities inferences power and also your reasoning power so what important strategy you have to adopt important strategy there are some tricks through which you can solve a particular paragraph appropriately read the passage as fast as possible as quick as possible but it does not means that you skip some word you skip some ideas but as quick as try to read the paragraphs as quick as possible because our learning theory says that normally you'll go from the whole to the part so when you'll go through the detailed paragraph you have a proper idea and proper understanding understanding about the the text about the ideas then give involvement get involved with the paragraph to understand try to understand what actual the author is trying to say underline the important lines and part of the passage to answer the questions try to underline important points and important your parts of that a passage try to translate a complex line in easy in your own words and own language when you are unable to understand particular structure particular sentences try to interpret in your own language but the sole objective sole idea should not be deviated so try to understand from your own languages the underlines or the marks key keyword try to underline in the marks keyword what are the various words are there that will help you to understand the logical connections between various words and the passages what are the linkages with those words with the passages try to understand some certain unfamiliar unfamiliar word by reading the whole sometimes we are come across an unfamiliar word which are very unknown to us so at the time what do you do normally we'll try to understand those unfamiliar words and from the text we are not aware about the word but when you go through the passages you try to understand what what possible meaning of that uh, word is then determine the main ideas what the mood of the, what is the mood of the author or the inferences various reasonings various reasons behind that uh, particular paragraph 
do not assume anything based your own belief do not assume that this should be like that that should be can be maybe if this is there is no place for that so we have to try to understand because the idea is very clear to make you confuse and try to distract your mind from the original ideas but when you'll go through the message they will try to extract the best from you so do not assume anything from your own personal belief look back at the paragraph when there is doubt when you will feel some doubts in going through the passages try to go back one line or two lines to have a better better ideas and read the questions and the alternate provide an alternative provide and choose the most appropriate one and last one is the go through the questions and what are the alternative options are there and how we will solve those problems so that it will be easier for you to understand what exact meaning is so these are some important strategy that we have discuss this important strategy must be followed so add it is a process of practice so you you have to understand those tricks to solve to get the better understanding about the paragraphs then there are some approaches some approaches some methods some techniques are there the first technique is that the pq approach first thing is the pq approach pq approach mean passes first then the questions first go through the passes and then to the questions so pq is the read the enter passages thoroughly then and go to the questions read the questions so how it will help you because p scan q p scan scan with paragraph scans it will give you scheme and scan through the passages and keep going back so it will give you extract it will give you summary of the passages so p scan or the paragraph scan is scanning a paragraph is most important part of your solving a particular comprehension passage is there or when there is a big paragraph what you will do you have to follow this 2 pq 4 pq and 6 pq first what you will do read the first two paragraphs and scan the all questions in the first paragraph are you identifying any questions related to that paragraph if it is relating to that paragraphs solve it try to answer this when you have completed the first direct paragraphs to second par uh, two paragraph first or first two paragraphs and you have solved those questions then come to your third and fourth paragraph try to again go through the questions and try to interrelate whether these paragraphs has any relevance with the remaining questions or not and last one is go to the remaining paragraphs and try to solve that so this may be when if it is related to it is not necessary that the first paragraph will have the containing the answer of the first paragraph it may be so happens that this first paragraph may have the questions of the fourth and fifth questions so it is try to understand whether this paragraphs has sequence of paragraph has any relevant to that this is the one of the important approach then second approach is the qp approach question first and then the passage qp read the, all the questions with their answer and option first and then come to the passage so the strategy second strategy is saying that go through the questions first thoroughly scan the questions and they come to the paragraph so it's like that in the first approach here is first question in paragraph second question in paragraph third question paragraph and fourth question per read each questions and each option then go through the entire passages and try to answer that and read the question two then go through the entire passages and question number then is like so on and q stem p means just read the question stems important question stem or we are talking about core points without reading the answer options questions don't go through the answer just go through the questions and then read the paragraph without going through the alternatives when you go through the alternatives you will be confused because four or five options are there so that will make you some doubt in your mind so try to read the question first without going through the option and then come to the paragraph and try to answer by reading them with proper options then when you find some answer in the questions and try to establish those answer with your options and you'll find there are any resemblance and try to solve that let's solve two passages and try to find out how these two approaches works together first we'll take uh, the paragraph to question approach so in the let's have a look on the paragraph 
and identify those major phases, major sentences, the words which are really important for us. So the 543 elected MPs will be elected as a single, they will be elected for a single constituencies, uh, will be elected from single member constituencies using fast post the post voting. The President of India nominates an additional two members from Anglo-Indian communities if he believes the community is underrepresented. The eligible voter must be an Indian citizen, 18 years old, ordinary residents of the pooling area of the constituencies and have a valid voter identity. Issued by the Election Commission of India, some peoples convicted of electoral and other offences are wired from voting. They are debarred if they will have any criminal offences. Earlier, there were speculations that Modi government might advance 2019 general elections to counter the anti-incumbency factors. However, learning from its past blunder of preparing elections made by the Bajpay government, it decided to go into election as far normal schedule which was announced by election commission of india on 10th march 2019 after which the model cut of conduct was applied to the immediate effect so these are broadly we have identified major areas and just have to go through it and try to identify how these questions have any relevance in the paragraphs so read the passage and choose the most appropriate action which word or phrase means disapproval of current political office holders in passage office holder in passage which is against going against the political office uh, holders so first pass the post the blunder no anti incumbencies may be right answer so uh, let's have a look to the passage first Yes, is there any phases that relates to that uh, first is, yes, anti-incumbency factors that is related to your anti-incumbency factors. So this will be your correct answer. Then coming to the next slide, uh, uh, since when it was model code of conduct applied with immediate effect, we have identified few uh, important dates here. So what in the earlier uh, strategy we, identify, we have uh, discussed about uh, what are the major points without going into the options. So we have announced, uh, we can identify that they announced by the election of Commission of India on 10th March 2019. Can you get this option there? So 10th March 2019. So second will be your correct response. Then coming to the next slide, when does the President of India nominates an additional two members from Anglo-Indian communities? So we have marked that uh, the President of India nominates two additional members from the Anglo-Indian community when if he believes the committee is underrepresented, if the members are not, if the community are underrepresented. So that may, may be one of the correct answer. Uh, so if there is a three members of there are less than 530, 543 members, Indian government failed to send the representatives, then this is the fourth one is that this when the communities are underrepresented, underrepresented in your uh, of parliamentary in the parliament okay so coming to the fourth what are the mandatory requirement to vote in india so these are options must be citizen of india definitely must be 18 and older correct must have a buried criminal records no must be an additional ordinary residence of polling area of the constituency constituency must possess a valid voter identity card issued by the election commission of india so we have marked few uh, 
or that means indicator or eligibility first thing is that we are talking about when you talk about uh, uh, these things uh, normally you identify the eligibility voter must be 18 years 18 years 18 years uh, normally we will talk about the 18 years first one is the 18 years sorry this is 18 years then we are talking about the it must be a, uh, that same constituency assembly or we are talking about uh, sorry okay so must be 18 years then we are talking about the uh, this is the most of the one of the very embarrassing situations that you know yes so uh, we are discussing about uh, how the 18 years uh, people's can identify then must have a constituency in possess same pooling area then have a voter identities but some people's uh, that you are talking about uh, some people's uh, those who are not uh, have the criminal records those who have the criminal records they cannot uh, convicted under criminal offenses they will be debarred to get into the election practices so you can vote so this is uh, options maybe your indian citizens 18 years must uh constituency some constituency assembly and have a valid voter id so one two four four and five one two and four and five three will be not there okay so this is your correct answer will be option two so we'll check the answer sections you'll find whether we are answer these things correctly by applying the p to q approach or that means passage to question approach then we'll now come to the second approach without going to the passage let's will go to the question first why is the holika dahan perform why holika dahan performs then coming to your which word spaces means traditional third is choose the statement which summarize the enter passage which word phase means not intoxicated and what type of adjective normally used for the thrown colored powder so these are the four five answers that need to be answered so why let's come to the passage first the holy celebrate starts on the night before holy with the holika dahan where people gather perform religious rituals in front of one fire and pray that their internal will be destroyed the way holika who is holika the sister of demon king hiranyakashyap was killed on fire in the fire the next morning celebrates the rangoli uh, sorry rangwali holi so the why we celebrate because to do the ritual perform the rituals and to the internal destructions of our evil so internal evil so can you get this one answer why this the holika dahan because it is quite cool and everything is love love bonfire because it symbolizes that end of the destructions of the evil of the foe it because this symbolizes the end of symbolizes the end of destruction of internal evil yes this is the reasons we got that answer that because this symbolize the end of destruction of internal evils then coming to second which words in the passage means the traditional let's have a discussions further for the peoples uh yes the celebration start with the night before the holy and holika dahan and perform religious rituals in front of bone fire and pray the internal their internally will be destroyed the way holika who is holika the sister of demon kings harina kashyap was killed in the fire the next morning we celebrate rangwali holi a free for all festivals of color where people smear sees others with color and drench each other 
water gowns and water fill balloons are used to play color each other anyone and everyone is fair games fans stranger region poor men women children elder the frolic fight with color occurs in open market open street outside temples and buildings group carries drums and musical instruments goof from place to place sing and dance people visit families friends and food to through colors whom is here talking about the an enemy to through colored powder on each other we're talking about the colored powder there was a colored powder we're talking about then uh, each other laugh and gossip then they share holy celebrates food and drinks some customary drinks yes they're talking about the customary drinks is traditional includes the bhang made of cannabis which is intoxicating intoxicating in the evening after sobering of people dress up and visit friends and family in the evening after sobering up means when they use the bhang and intoxicated they normally they try to be make normal and they dress up well and go to the friend and family so these are you can see that major points that you have highlighted here then is this is be customary means your traditionals then which is the summary of that uh, passage there are two type of holy already we have discussed the holy kadan and rangwali holy so this is the correct answer people do not celebrates with their food yes this is the second option is wrong because even in holy even it is an enemy we normally celebrate the holy with your friends family and even enemy so this is not the correct answer so food and drinks are the heart of holy celebration normally as we know that this is uh, already identified the delicious food and drinks is one of the some customary drinks so this is the one of the integral part of your uh, holy celebration process so this will be your correct answer also it symbolizes the destruction of our inner evil and the demons already we have discussed in the first questions so question 1 3 and 4 1 3 and 4 so b option will be your correct answer then coming to question number 4 which words for phage mean not intoxicated in the passage so as you know that the, in the holy uh, normally we will take the uh, we normally will take the uh, what intoxicated things like the bhang but after evening after sobering up so this is one of the word that we are coming into our mind and people dress up and other sobering up so sobering up normally will reduce the drink or when the nasha ka jo uh, uska jo effect hota hai this normally reduce in the evening as you know most of you are observing the holy so this is free cannabis not intoxicated cannabis which is type of bhang or it is intoxicated so this is not there the just word is also not there free for all no it is free for all the intoxicated or free for all but anybody can uh, have uh, that type of uh, intoxicated but sobering up in the evening we normally will take it off and will put up so the not intoxicated means in the passage is the sobering up and coming to the question 5 the which type of adjective has been highlighted in the word color powder the peoples visit family friends and foes means family is talking about the enemies to throw color powder on each other laugh and gossip then share holy delish delicious foods and drink adjective of quality quality color is color powder is talking about the quality aspect let's also discuss the other one also it is a quantity no color powder is not a quantity it is not a numerical objective demonstration is also not a process so definitely it is talking about the adjective of the quality color there are various type of colors so that is the one of the major adjective of the color so let's have a answer on this too and we'll found and we'll you will find that these two approaches progressing from the questions to the passages and questions to the passages both approaches Uh, can be adapted to solve various questions so this is all about your comprehension passages on scene text these are two major approaches and the techniques through which you can solve your paragraphs so hope you enjoy the video and we like the video if you want 
so more type of video please do like share and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching ss odia tutorial have a nice day